is tyranny, and that is disqualifying. <laughs> History teaches us again and again that democracies can fall. They fall to populists. They fall to strongmen. Strong men who beguile their fellow citizens with conspiracy theories and false emergencies. As my friend, the late Charles Krauthammer taught us, the lesson of our history is that the task of merely maintaining strong and sturdy the structures of our constitutional order is unending. It is the continuing and ceaseless work of every generation. And that responsibility now falls on all of us in this election. This great country of ours requires leaders of character. We must choose men and women who have what Abraham Lincoln called a sincere heart. Our nation's second president, John Adams, put it this way. On the first night he ever spent in the White House, he wrote a letter to his wife, Abigail. And his letter included a prayer, a prayer that is so special President Kennedy had it engraved in the mantelpiece in the state dining room in the White House. And in his letter, he said this, may none but honest and wise men ever rule under this roof. Now I'm confident, just a second, I am, <laughs> I am confident that John Adams meant women too. In this election, a broad coalition has come together to support Vice President Kamala Harris. Now, we may disagree on some things, but we are bound together by the one thing that matters to us as Americans more than any other, and that's our duty to our Constitution and our belief in the miracle and the blessing of this incredible nation. We have a shared commitment a shared commitment as Americans to ensuring that future generations live in a nation where power is transferred peacefully, where our leaders are men and women of good faith, and where our public servants set aside partisan battles to do what's right for this country. So today I ask all of you here and everyone listening across this great country to join us. I ask you to meet this moment. I ask you to stand in truth, to reject the depraved cruelty of Donald Trump. And I ask you instead to help us elect Kamala Harris for president. I know, I know that President, that a President Harris, that President Harris will be able to unite this nation. I know that she will be a president who will defend the rule of law. And I know that she will be a president who can inspire all of our children, and if I might say so, especially our little girls. to do great things. So help us right the ship of our democracy so that history will say of us, when our time of testing came, we did our duty and we prevailed because we loved our country more. And now, and now it is my great honor to introduce you to our Vice President, and the next president of the United States.